Hello everyone, I am Interact and this is Slay the Spire. Let's do a daily today. Today is Sunday, March 11th, 2018. The daily challenge is the silent. The modifiers are shiny. Start with one rare card. Certain future of the map only contains one path, which is actually super interesting. I love all these random... Was that Chinese? Anyways, and terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one match max HP? Start each combat with five plated armor. Um, okay. This is definitely going to be an interesting one. Let's see what our rare card is. Die, die, die. Interesting. So, despite having one path, it still winds, which is a little weird. But alright. So, I don't actually... I haven't done many dailies. So, I'm not sure how seated they are. Um... I mean, I know I have enough to not do that, whatever. I know that, like, the rare card that you start with, I believe, is seated. So everyone should have the same rare card. But I don't I don't think the cards you draw are seated. So everyone should have a different... Like, I think this is seated as well. But everyone should have a different... Um... Hmm... A different, like, deck shuffling seed, I guess. I think that's randomly generated. I don't believe that that's, that's predetermined, because that would be really weird to code, and it would also just be weird in general. Um, I'm not sure, actually, I've done, like, one daily before this, so I'm not really sure how they're scored. Um, let's, hmm, heal or, let's remove a card. I think we can safely remove a defend. We probably want to be going offensive on this daily. Let's see, would we have been able to afford any of these? I doubt it. Kind of am interested in flying knee. It would have been nice to have been able to pick up Tingsha, but I don't, there's no way you'd be able to have 300 gold by now. We could do card removal. I think we'll just pick up flying knee and move on. There's die, die, die in the opener. Nice. If I had poison stabbed, he'd be dead. Whatever. It doesn't really matter that much, I don't think. Heal hook, I think, is probably what we want. And then we want to upgrade neutralize, because neutralize is just kind of one of the best cards the silent has in general. In addition to also being, you know... One of the best starting cards. Probably the best starting card in the entire game. I would say. Um, do we want to use a weak potion here? I think we do. Just so we can save on some life. I don't think we're going to bother with the defend. I would have loved to have drawn heal hook there. Sadly, we did not. Like, I, I believe all the encounters are seated, so everyone should be fighting Gremlin Knob here. But I don't think... And I think, like, like Anchor is seated and whatnot. But I don't think that what you draw is seated. I think card rewards are... I'm not sure. Leave a comment if you have any idea how they're actually done. Because I'm not entirely certain. Um, Anchor's actually decent-ish. Art of War... Is kind of bad. Let me draw die, 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 please. Come on, okay. Um, die, die, die. Wow, you're really just gonna do me like that, huh? Wow, I'm gonna have to waste two cards to. Okay, actually, I don't. Never mind. Um, let me see here. What's my best bet? Probably just do it something like that. Yeah. I guess that's that's probably the best way of doing that. I think you're supposed to be going fast. I believe. Do we want to skip this? Our deck's a little big. We could start trying to get some poison synergies. Let's work towards that, possibly. i going to draw. Didn't get what I was looking for. Which was obviously, um, 
neutralize or die 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 to make that heal hook free or to you know do a bunch of damage so he's dead to poison next turn so we just need to draw up two strikes worth of okay or we could draw the die 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 that was on the bottom of our deck footwork is going to be amazing with this uh terminal thing we kind of want to be in somewhat of a safe position aka you know using a lot of defensive cards if possible since we're going to be extremely low on hp most of the time or our hp is eventually going to just run out i guess would probably be a better thing to say Cloak and Dagger is just a great card. Uh, yes, I will trigger the trap. Eh. Hmm. I think we just take the injury. Because I don't think it's that big of a deal, necessarily. And I guess I... I think I'm saving the energy potion for the boss to be able to split him at a better time. I think that's probably the way I want to be going. Yeah, I haven't done any, any well, any, actually. I think I've done, no, I have done one, I believe. I've done one daily. So, hopefully, I actually remember how to play this game because I haven't played in a very long time since whenever the last time I put out a video was, honestly. That was probably the last time I actually played this game. Which is bad, because I, I really do like this game a lot. Um, I just had been playing a lot of it to put out videos and... I think we're saving that for when the boss splits. It had just kind of been, you know... When you're playing it multiple hours a day to put out content, it, it's kind of... It burns you out on the game. Um, pretty quickly. Especially because I wasn't exactly making money off of it. You know, my perspective might have been different had I been making money through monetization, which I've lost. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not worried about that. YouTube's just a hobby for me. It was nice to be able to get um, some amount of compensation back, even if it was a small amount. Okay, so that guy's dead too. Poison. Which is good, we don't have to even have to worry about his splits. Okay, I think here we're probably just going to pop the die-die-die. So he's going to split at 20. Mm, that's pretty decent. I've had better, I've had worse. I probably could have just taken one of them out. I, the frailty doesn't really matter that much at all to me. So I can't say I'm actually too concerned about it. I think Invenom was a nice pickup, actually. I could pick up another one. Um, hmm. I think, honestly, we pick up Tactician just because it's a really good card. Oh, no. We have a lot of money. So I think Ectoplasm might be our best bet. Although we do have a Golden Idol. Hmm. I'll take Ectoplasm. Maybe we can trade this in for the bloody idol, but then that, that, that doesn't work with Ectoplasm. Maybe Ectoplasm was the wrong decision in hindsight. I could be entirely convinced that that was the not, not the proper decision. What's, the, what's our boss on this one? Okay. I'm really mostly worried about what our boss ends up being on the uh, final floor. 
we have a time eater or not is basically what that comes down to. Right now, I think we're actually like decently set up for time eater because our deck isn't really like a time eater would screw us up combo type deck. It's just kind of a pretty straightforward deck at this point. Please draw me some attack cards, thank you. Um, Shivs do more damage. I think I'll take Flying Knee. We actually kind of want to be removing cards from our deck at this point. It's actually a pretty decent start getting rid of two of his artifacts. No, I want Adrenaline. Thank you. Wow, this is just not good at all. Because I just have a bunch of defense in my hand. But yeah, I mean, obviously I still enjoy the game. I'm still playing it, just not... Alright, it's only unblocked damage. I always forget that. Mm, I don't think we need to waste an energy potion here. I've been playing it, like, occasionally, but just not as much as I used to play it, which was a lot. It's still a great game. I still think the devs are going in a really good direction with it, patching it every single week, you know, putting out decent content patches, not just this is some bug fixes. Like, they actually do, like, some amount of balancing every, every patch, which I think is a really... It keeps the game fresh, which is nice. I really do like the devs of this game. I've been playing a lot of faster than light, which I'm awful at. Which is why I haven't uh, put any videos on the channel yet, because I'm honestly extremely ashamed of how bad I am at that game. I've beaten up to the Mantis Cruiser on easy mode. So I still have to get a victory with that thing, and then it's just proving to be really difficult for me, I guess, because I'm just bad. I don't know, faster than light, I, I just, I don't really, I guess, get it, if that makes any sense. Like, I know how the game works, I just don't know what the best strategy is, and I always end up mismanaging things and getting my units just absolutely murdered. But I'm, I'm working on it. Once I Probably once I get past the Mantis ship, I'll think about putting out some videos on that. Give me an attack, please. Thank you. I really need some draw discard if I want to get reflex in here. But honestly, I think like if I do get draw discard, reflex is going to be amazing. I'm at a very low life total. How do we do this? Do we want to backflip? That's awkward. Start with shiv, then heal hook, then poison stab, and then die, die, die. To be able to maximize the amount of poison that we get through malleable because it's only unblocked damage i think we actually need to just do that we're gonna take a lot of damage i see they've changed the music in the background for this game which is nice it's always good to keep things fresh i'm gonna take way too much damage i may actually just straight up die I'm not sure. I guess not. I really need a draw. I, I need prepared or something. Like, desperately at this point. Prepared? Son of a. I mean, escape plan's free. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is. Okay. I. I mean, I hate doing this, but I think it just kind of needs to be done. Put up footwork and just start focusing down the one with the most HP. 
Or should I? I probably should have killed the one with the least HP in hindsight. Yeah. I'm a little committed at this point. But at least the math worked out perfectly to kill that guy and block both of their attacks. So that's nice. I do always appreciate that. Let's weaken the one with more HP, but focus on the one with less HP. You see, like, having no way to enable Tactician outside of Survivors really screwing me up. Same with the Reflex. The... This this terminal modifier is scary. Very, very scary. I guess I could take acrobatics? I guess. I hope there's something good here. I mean, Blood Vial's nice. This is a way to enable the draw discard stuff. Noxious Fumes is a way to... Um, get more poison out there I think I just need blood vial can that that's all of my gold though I'm just gonna hedge my bets and take a dagger throw because that's also a way to enable it oh my goodness um it's a very narrow way to enable them in all honesty but at least it is a way I, we need to rest but it heals for so little because we're just gonna freaking die. Upgrade all strikes and defends, or remove a singular card. I'm taking the upgrade. Uh, you know, you might disagree with that as being the right answer. I think it is the right answer. Um, because it just increases the base power level of our deck to a point that is really much, much better. Cloak and Dagger is a good consideration. So is Tactician, but we don't really have enough to enable Tactician, so I th think we're going to go with Cloak and Dagger. Sad that it doesn't upgrade the amount that it blocks by any little bit, but that's okay. Let's neutralize you. Whoa, that is the incorrect card. I'm sorry. I guess I'll defend as well. For no real reason. I like the improvements they've made to like the animations and whatnot in this game. Um, so there you go, that's acrobatics showing up in the clutch. They've made the game feel really polished, which is always a good thing. Um, what'd you make for a poison stab? Okay, that's decent. Then I think... I think I actually need to defend here. Uh, making the game look more polished is nice. I kind of wish there was a third character so I could kind of throw myself into the game a little bit more. That was the bottom card on the deck. Sweet. But I understand that that takes time. Um, even just coming up with a concept for what the third character would do, how they would function, that, that just takes a lot of time and effort. Um... And I understand that that's not, it's not an easy process. It's not going to be a process that's like, oh, we did it in, you know, a weekend, right? It's the kind of thing where they have to go through, test everything, figure out like, okay, does this make any sense? Does this work? Is this too similar to this other character, et cetera, et cetera? This feels terrible. Um, we're gonna have 21 and he's doing 21. Mm. Mathematics. But having a third character would definitely spice things up in a good way. To where I would feel incentivized to play more frequently. Because I'd have something to strive towards. And I think daily runs are a good example of something that is kind of an easy thing to do. Um, to give you that something to strive towards. Which is why I'm back to playing this game. Because they added in a mode that like gives me, you know, okay, well once a day I'll just sit down and see how well I can do on this daily. Gives me a little bit of competition that I I like in video games. 
one of the main reasons I play video games, honestly. I am not put up a single block card for some stupid reason. That was extremely idiotic, if we're being honest with each other, which I think we should be. Didn't take too much damage, but it was enough to, you know, make me wonder what exactly I'm doing with my life right now in this video game. I'll take another dagger throw. All right, deck's a little bloated. Let's just get that out of the way. Let's, you know, let's be honest. Let's be open. The deck is bloated. We do have dagger throws to work our way through it, which is nice. We have backflips to draw. I think we might be energy potioning here. Let's see what we draw. Mm. Energy potion, I think, is worth it here. It basically gives us, ex like, a fair amount of extra damage and an extra energy next turn because we had flying kick. So I think it's worth it. We've done a fair amount of work on him already. This is, like, a nice combination. But, uh, kind of came at the wrong time. Because I'm out of cards in my hand. Let's see what adrenaline gives us. Acrobatics. What do you got? Mm. At this point, I think Poison Stab is not our best card. Let's see what Backflip gives us. Okay, he looks free. Dagger Throw triggers Tactician, which is nice. We definitely want the extra energy next turn. He's only hitting for 15, so we're already covered so this actually does 10 damage this only does um, 9 damage because of Envenom so obviously double strike is the right way to go hate not being able to discard that but I think we actually have lethal so there we go we can do math Sneko Skull Mamma Mia someone out there seems to like me Blur's a really good card Pay all of our gold for Jax. Now, Jax is extremely good on the silent. Because you don't have any way to gain strength outside of strength potions. But the HP loss with terminal... I'm gonna do it. Go big or go home, right? The HP loss with terminal is going to be not my favorite thing in the world. I think footwork needs the upgrade. That extra dexterity with, with terminal kind of just eviscerating our existence. It's probably going to be good. Let's start with escape plan. Let's play that smart. All right, what do you got for me? Garbage. Garbage is what you have for me. I want to use poison stab here to get rid of an artifact so we can get weakened on him when he's trying to hyper beam, essentially. Okay, what do you got for me? Tactician with no way to discard it. I don't actually know. Let me test this. I'm not sure if Artifact blocks this ability because it steals a card. It doesn't actually, like, do damage or put an effect on you. We're covered. Not that we need to care if we are or not because we can only... So he steals a card... Okay, so they stole cards through... That's interesting. The way that that was worded, it says it gives you a negative effect, which would make you assume... Oh, okay. Artifact will stop this, but it doesn't. That was so stupidly backwards played. Oh, boy. Um... I think we just defend. Because it'll give us some block to start off next turn. And he's buffing, so... We want some amount of defense here. Can we kill you? I think we can kill you pretty easily, actually. The question is, can we live while killing you? Because that kills you. And then we block, and that's more than enough block, actually. I don't know why I blocked so much, but oh well. Alright, so we finally got rid of that. It's adrenaline, blur, got the dagger throw to discard this. Acrobatics 
is a complete whiff. What a joke. Let us see, let us see. We have blur, so cloak and dagger is not a waste. Plus it gives us multiple triggers of that. I think we want a flying knee, because we want the extra energy next turn. And there is a consideration of just keeping a lot of block up, but I think we want to do enough damage to kill this guy. So he's at effective 15. I think we want to might... We might want to get some poison on that guy. Although maybe with Sneko Skull, that would have killed him. I think it would have. Okay, so I was actually right to consider keeping block up because we have Hyper Beam coming in. So this is actually free. We have enough to stop Hyper Beam. Shockingly enough, I... I've almost never fought this guy and been able to not take at least some amount of damage from Hyper Beam. So thank you, Blur. I'm glad I picked you up. Um, just wail on him, I guess. Save that for if he brings out minions again. Actually, screw it. Just do the damage now. What are ideals? I'm not going to stick to him. 70 damage in one turn. Pretty good. See what we got. Not really what I was looking for. Just an, just barely not enough to block him. But at least we can get neutralized on him now. And we can get blur up to keep our block rolling. What you got for me? Free stuff? Free stuff. Hey. You got something? Oh well, actually let's not do that. I would just kind of waste two cards. Alright, so he's dead. So we can just hit E and end the turn. So we've lived through the second floor. Which is nice. Hmm. Glass knife is amazing. Especially with Jax. Thousand Cuts is amazing if you're playing a bunch of cards, which we're sort of not. Corpse Explosion, I think, is just not a great card. I think Glass Knife, like in a Oh no, Sneko Eye. In a vacuum. Um, Glass Knife is just one of the better cards that exists for the Silent. <sighs> Lizard Tail gives us safety, but I think we take the Specimen. For potency, it's the Twin Boys. I think we're actually going to get extremely screwed over by the fact that we take that we took ectoplasm i think that's really actually going to be our downfall if i'm looking at this like objectively i think the lack of i think we should have taken um sozu i think sozu was the right call i'm kind of actually i'm kicking myself at this point for not taking sozu I really hate the fact that I took Ectoplasm over Sozu. Um, I'll take an upgraded Dagger Throw. Because, like, the shop is a waste. I can't do anything here. My game is frozen. Concentrate would be nice to pick up. Um, Metrioska is always... I'm sorry if you're Russian. is always good. Toolbox is okay. Card removal... We could probably stand to have. Considering the size of our deck at the present moment. They're all blocking? It's like the first time I've ever seen that happen. What kinds of draws are these? Yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen them all block on the first turn. They might have tweaked the AI in a patch that I haven't um, paid attention to. <sighs> Man. Lovely. I'm actually going to draw cards here. <sighs> Can I just take this guy out? His poison should get trans. It does get transferred over. That's nice. 
The blur doesn't really do much of anything. So this is nice right here, being able to do that. Escape plan gives us defend. Can we take both of them out in this single turn? No, is apparently the answer to that question. Sweet Eyes poison transfers over, he respawns. We might be stuck in a situation where we're just going to have to perpetually kill things and hope that the poison transfer is enough? That can't be right. That, that seems extremely slow. I also misplayed that turn, like, absurdly, badly. So poison transfer's over. I think we've, we've, we've got him at this point. Alright, cool. That actually went smoother than I thought, and it's all thanks to the specimen. We're obviously taking noxious fumes, given the way that we're playing this game. Receive 300 and 300... Uh, yeah, so ectoplasm was 100% the wrong choice. Like actually the wrong decision. N knowing that now, I would not have taken it, because that was just objectively wrong. Some acrobatics and hope for something to keep going. We didn't get anything to keep going. Um, actually, we sort of did. Okay. Blur's not terrible. And that hitting blur is also not terrible. So we're at least going to have a lot of block. We're kind of um, well positioned against the repulsors because we don't give half of a shit about days. And I can say that now because I'm not worried about monetization on my videos anymore. Um, not, that, not that I ever cared before. Um, oh, that's a way to keep going. I hate these spike boys for this exact reason. There's such a pain just because of how. Well, okay, actually, they're completely fine, never mind. Thorns is just so obnoxious. Bullet time. No. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe bullet time's actually okay. It's probably actually okay. I probably should have taken it. Using glass knife last because of the slow effect, obviously, to do minimal amounts of extra damage, basically. I actually didn't need to backflip there, in hindsight. Although I didn't really have anything else to be doing, so I guess it was okay. I think the Envenom pickups are actually going to carry us, oddly enough. Perhaps we should have picked up, um... I should have done this before I did any of those attacks. Perhaps we should have picked up that second one. Maybe that would have been better. Okay, so Cloak and Dagger is uh, absurdly good against this guy. <laughs> because it's basically just, like, free stacks of slow. Which leads to a bunch of free damage. How do we want to play this? We want to get this out of our hand. And then we want to see if we can cycle into, like, Tactician. No dice. Okay, let's try again. Still no dice. Oh well. Uh, his poison stacking up pretty hard. We've got one turn left, so I think we're actually good. Draw me Tactician. Are you kidding right now? This is a cruel joke. You've got... To, okay. Let's think about this. Um, glass knife will deal... 24 damage and apply... 4 poison. That's not enough to kill him now. So I think we want to just defend. Which feels really bad to do, but we have him dead now. So, yeah, wow, Tactician on the bottom of the deck. Why am I doing all of these things? I don't know. Regal Pillow is amazing because we're not gaining 
any amount of HP. Like, we get 8 HP back for resting at a, at a bonfire. That's just stupid. Um, what do we want to do here? How are we going to be Donut and Donu and Deka with like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with twenty-one max HP? What in God's name <laughs> is this chat? Is this daily? This daily is absurd. Um, I don't even know, man. Maybe I rest. I. What do I? What do I have coming up? Combat and a bunch of question marks. All right, so we're not resting. That's for sure. Let's upgrade Jax Because it's our only way of gaining strength the maw Well It's so blur blur is really good on our opener with anchor I would have loved the way to keep going But that's okay Maybe I should have artifacted there I don't know you see, now we have all this block to work with, thanks to um, Blur. Draws us into more cards. We definitely need a Jax. This guy has way too much HP to not Jax here. I wish I had an energy potion or something to keep going. Or I had drawn adrenaline or something along those lines, you know? Alright, what do you got for me? Footwork. It's pretty good, makes something free. Sadly, we don't have any way to draw more cards right now. So all we can do is just kind of dump our hand like a mongoloid and hope for the best. Oh, okay. Basically, these hands are just playing themselves because we have basically four or five energy per turn and only four or five cards unless we draw our one of backflip. Or a way to discard our one of reflex, which feels real good. Let me let me tell you. So this boy is just dead to poison. So our poison thing is we we were actually smart to get poison cards because Sneko Skull and Specimen showed up. I'm definitely taking another footwork. I didn't know anything about this daily going into it. Uh, why did I just skip the route? Why did I just skip the relic? I'll lose die die die. Why did I just skip the- I'm so angry about that. I'm actually like so bothered by the fact that I'm playing so quickly and so stupidly that I just skipped out on picking up that relic, which would have actually been useful to have, by the way. Oh, I need to slow down, dude. You don't even know how frustrated I am right now. Because I'm not very vocal about when I am and am not frustrated. So it would be very difficult for you to actually tell when I'm legitimately upset and when I'm kidding about being upset, but I am legitimately upset. I'm not a very expressive person. I get told that a lot. Um, mostly by, by my wife, who really, you know. Uh, anyways, less about me, more about you. How are you doing today? That's not a way to keep going. I hate you, spikers. With an actual passion. I despise every fiber of your being. I despise everything you stand for. Um... Your existence is an abomination, honestly. When it comes down to it, you sicken me. So, I don't actually know how... Okay, it doesn't work the way I thought it did. That's fine. I thought maybe they would die and the poison would transfer before... I don't want any of these. Um, before any of the actual effects went out. It seems that is not the case.
Hmm. I guess I just upgrade Blur? We have a lot of defense going into this boss fight. That is assuming we get to the boss fight. Right now we're fighting these things with 12 HP. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm not feeling too extremely confident about our chances at the present moment. Um, although Blur is helping out a lot, I actually might want more than one Blur. Let me raise my chair up, excuse me. Feeling a little short right now. Um, holy mother. They are hitting for a lot of damage. What'd you make for a survivor? Woo! Nifty. Let me see here. 16, 26, 34. So we do need to play at least one defensive card. We'll play two just to be extremely safe. Because we have nine HP. Terminal is awful. Um, I know a lot of people have complaints about the one that makes it so all the enemies have extra strength and stuff. Um, I read a lot in like the subreddit about people being super annoyed by the, you know, enemies start with, was it three strength or five strength or whatever. I think this might be worse. <laughs> um, honestly, can we get that three strength thing back? Because I think that would just be better at this point. So let me kill you to transfer your poison to someone else. That's actually the nuttiest card to draw right there so is that um that's actually so good like you, you have one card left in your hand what do you draw acrobatics it's perfection in all honesty um so adrenaline's obviously an amazing card it exhausts itself so it's a one-time use i think we need acrobatics for another discard outlet in addition to giving us a way to filter through the deck that is absurdly bloated at this point so this actually does more damage oddly enough because of sneko skull's interaction with um envenom each shiv applies two poison, which makes that four poison. Which, you know, numbers, math, woohoo, who cares? Get on with it, nerd, just play the video game. I'm gonna take damage. Hmm. I mean, Regal Pillow basically gives us a guaranteed full heal before the boss fight. Assuming we don't. We actually. This is all assuming we actually get to the boss fight, obviously. Because there's no guarantee of that just yet. We do actually still have to beat this guy. Beautiful. What you got? Something good? Ooh. I mean, I can't really use that right now because I would overdraw like an excessive amount. Let's use blur. We have seven cards in hand means we actually can do this we can keep the loop-de-loop -loop going if we can draw another discard yep we failed there that's fine um we do not have energize up which means we're not getting an extra energy next turn mm. since we have blur up i'm gonna cloak and dag i overdrew i hate that you hate to see that so we already have enough to block this. Basically. So I don't really care too much. Let's get rid of defend. We're keeping survivor in case we draw into something that wants to be discarded. I think poison stab is actually worse than basic strike at this point. But I'm not really going to worry too much about it. We have a fire potion. Do we want a fire potion over... Did Donut and Deku debuff? I 
think they do. I'm sorry, I keep calling him Deku and not Deka. Been reading too much Hiroaka. Um, I honestly don't think 20 damage is going to do anything for us. So we're just going to skip. We're resting, so we're at full HP. Oh, these guys have new animations. How nice. This is just... 20 HP. I want to know who with the design team thought to themselves. Hey, you know what would be really fun? Do you know what would be a really cool effect to have on a daily run? Let's make it so the player ends with 20 max HP. Why? Why have you forsaken us like this? Uh, we have enough to fully block that. Why have the devs forsaken us like this? Also, I hate the fact that it says we'll afflict a negative status effect, when in reality it means we'll give you some dazes. I kind of wish they would update that. Oh, hello. I kind of wish they would update that to actually reflect what it will actually do. You know what I mean? Do this to gain some defense. So we have 18. He's hitting for 36. So we drink one. We have 30. He's hitting for... Yeah, he's hitting for 32, excuse me. So we're going to take two damage, which I'm fine with. Alright, so this applies... Does eight damage and then applies four poison because of this. And then it applies two more poison. So this is... 14 damage. This is 14 damage. They're literally the same. <laughs> it's just one applies more poison. Which will snowball us farther. Which I think is what we want? Maybe? Please, for the love of God, draw me into something good. I could have looked at what I was going to draw. Okay, another footwork makes something else free. It made dagger throw free. Alright, so let's use these dagger throws and figure out what we can... We don't want that. What else you got? That's really good. That's really good. So let's think. This is 16 block. We're getting hit for 32. So that's 16. That's... Okay. But this also does damage, so we need to consider that. We're obviously not keeping defend. The question is, if we acrobatics here, what are the odds that we hit Tactician? Extremely slim. I think we want to do this and drink this potion. And just do as much damage as we can. Because he's almost dead to poison, right? Although we're basically just dead here in general. Um, wow. This boss fight is absurd. 38. Is a large number. Are we dead? I think we have... Do we have one HP? Am I doing my math correctly? Do we have one HP left? Wow. Okay. My game is frozen because it couldn't comprehend the fact that I have one HP left. Uh, we might have a chance. If we can just straight up kill him right here, which is not going to happen. We actually... I'm actually... So mad about that, dude. I mean, that's fine. You know, it happens, right? We were 15 damage away. Well, you know, thanks for watching. Let's see what we got. 527, that probably puts us in, like, the top 80%. Um, I actually don't even know where you look for your score. View my score. 1300. 
13,000, excuse me. Can I just, like, get a... Okay, whatever. You know, it... We did decently, my game is freezing, whatever. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment if you want me to do more of these daily runs in the future. If you want me to just do regular runs, do keep trying to do Ascension, I'm still stuck on the same Ascension numbers as I've always been stuck on, because, you know, I guess I'm bad at this game or something. Anyways, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.